We have an extremely high-powered panel uh, this morning with uh, four of the greatest strategic minds uh, working today. I'll very briefly introduce uh, each one of them. First, we will have Michael C. Desch, who is director of the Notre Dame International Security Center. He's also the author of Privileged and Confidential, The Secret History of the President's Intelligence Advisory Board, among other books. Uh, thanks very much. I want to uh, make some very brief remarks on the future of great power politics in the Jacksonian moment. And I want to make three points uh, in about five minutes. One is I think we're in a Jacksonian moment in terms of U.S. foreign policy. Uh, two, Jacksonianism and realism are kissing cousins, but they're not husband and wife. And then three, I want to uh, uh, look at as an example of the difference between kissing cousins and husband and wife, uh, the current place uh, of the debate about uh, Iran between Jacksonians um, and realists. So Walter Russell Mead uh, wrote a uh, very influential article in the National Interest, I think in 1997, called The uh, Jacksonian Persuasion in U.S. Foreign Policy. And it's one of these uh, articles that I think was way ahead of his time. Uh, I think he was wrong about who he thought was the key Jacksonian uh, candidate at the time, John McCain, who turned out to be uh, very different. But he was right about a new mood afoot in terms of foreign policy in uh, in among the American public. And basically, I think Jacksonianism has uh, six key premises. Uh, first of all, it uh, advocates a more assertively uh, nationalist uh, foreign policy. America first, of course, naturally flows from that. Uh, secondly, uh, it takes its center of gravity in a clearly populist stance. Let's get rid of Davos man and get real Americans uh, back in the foreign policy process. Uh, thirdly, it has sort of a, a negative or an exemplary view of American exceptionalism in stark contrast uh, to the crusader view uh, of American exceptionalism that's dominated uh, U.S. foreign policy in recent years. Uh, fourth, it has a pessimistic view of IR, maybe a Hibesian view on steroids. Uh, fifth, honor is as important as interest to the Jacksonians. Um, and then finally, it has an all or nothing view of the use of military force. Basically, it's a civilian version uh, of the famous Powell Doctrine. Now, second point I want to make is the Jacksonian moment is a double-edged sword uh, for us realists. There's no doubt that there's a lot of overlap between Jacksonianism and realism, and I would say points one, three, four, and six, and we'll have a quiz about what those were at the end of my <laughs> remarks. But the big differences uh, come on points two and five, uh, and I want to try to illustrate this very briefly in terms of one of the big foreign policy issues going forward, uh, which is uh, uh, U.S. policy towards the Islamic Republic of Iran. Uh, of Iran. Um, and I think most realists are uh, troubled uh, by America's demonization of, of Iran. Uh, to be sure, I think uh, we're clear-eyed about the defects uh, of the current Iranian regime, and they're by no means uh, a model citizen. On the other hand, as with the previous panel on Russia, I mean, it's sort of gotten a little bit crazy. Uh, our key allies uh, in the Gulf and on the Arabian Peninsula are far less pluralist than the Islamic Republic. And on many important issues, inclu including the big fight against ISIS, uh, we're on the same uh, side of the barricades. Now, I think part of the problem is that uh, two elements uh, of Jacksonianism are pushing the Trump administration uh, against what would be uh, a more realist and a more balanced policy uh, dealing with Iran. And, and the problems here really focus on uh, points two and five. Uh, realism uh, is an elite intellectual movement based on a deep knowledge of history and based on a complex uh, theory about how the world's wor world works. Jacksonians don't want to hear about that. Bubis Americanus uh, doesn't do history and doesn't do theory, um, and that's a problem. 
Secondly, the fixation with honor uh, leads Americans, and particularly the Trump administration, uh, to let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Uh, and the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action uh, for uh, the Iranian uh, nuclear program is a good case in point. Nobody says that it's a perfect <coughs> deal, uh, but on the other hand, uh, it's a pretty good deal, and uh, the perfect deal uh, is unattainable. So let me just conclude really quickly. Uh, this Jacksonian moment uh, really is both uh, a moment of opportunity, but also a moment of great peril uh, for realism. To be sure, because realism and Jacksonianism are kissing cousins, uh, we're getting a lot of what we want uh, in the Jacksonian moment. But remember, kissing cousins uh, aren't husband and wife anywhere outside of West, uh, Eastern <laughs> Kentucky. Um, it, <laughs> And given that, <laughs> it's not going to uh, be a perfect marriage. Thank you. Awesome.